back to our episode of Last Day Out of Survival. Today, we return, and today I got a goal in mind. I have been preparing my base a lot. I got a couple of things to share with you guys, but there's a reason that I ended up, like a lot of people were saying, Star, why'd you buy this? They listen, there's a reason. That's because today we're doing something very scientific. We're going balls to the wall, people. I'm going to try to see what happens at the fourth level of threat level, and I'm going to see what happens when you go past it. What happens? happens if you raid with a level four threat level aka i want to do five raids today so i wanted to prepare my base a little bit you can see now that i spent some time both on stream and doing this type of jazz uh, i've been able to make a relatively good base there's at least two stone walls between all my best stuff and uh the chests uh we got the best stuff over there in the metal base and for the sake of science as well we figured out that the stone room apparently the second time you purchase it it goes to a week which makes me wonder if Every time you buy one of these, it takes longer. So maybe the metal room was 10 days after you bought it. Maybe after that, it becomes like 30 days, like all the way to a month or something. But I don't know if I want to buy another metal room. Like I kind of just wanted one to toss my most valuable stuff into. I really don't know if I want to drop another hundo. But the reason I'm able to do that is actually because of you guys supporting me. And I appreciate that so much because I want to make as awesome of videos as possible. And because of you guys today, we go in ballsy and we're going to try to pull off five raids, see the loot that we get see all that jazz and uh, we might even try to open up a couple of crates to maybe get a military box to toss all of the stuff that we will be acquiring so we got to quite a lot of stuff lined up but not only from you guys supporting me on youtube but also app zone uh because of you guys actually using that app helping me out earning yourself gift cards i got a link to a video about that in the description down below don't want to spend too much time talking about it today i really want to focus on the raids but i didn't want to say a huge reason i'm able to do this crazy stuff and last day on earth is because of you guys and uh, the amount of gift cards I get from that. Uh, and I also get to use those gift cards then for the weekly giveaways. Speaking of weekly giveaways, today we're going to be announcing Zavina of that weekly giveaway and starting up the new weekly giveaway. Oh, are, are you new? Do you not know about that? Well, all you got to do is hit that like button. Make sure. Oh, no, I made a boo boo. I made a boo boo. Oh, no. Okay, so there's a little issue that I actually figured out the other day. For science, I suppose I can show you guys, but at the same time, I'm going to try to find a wall that isn't a level 1 to break into because level 1 walls do kind of have a slight uh, slight problemo. And this guy, holy hell, he's, it looks like he's starting to build up a pretty nice base here, but he's got all his loot stuff. But, uh, yeah, I think everything here is all level one walls so this is where i kind of made a slight boo-boo and this is i gotta make sure not to do this i rushed into this a little bit too much but uh when you craft things like look at me crafting that it actually raises the noise meter which is really poopy so i might actually end up using these iron hatchets to break into this stuff unless he's got some level two walls hidden somewhere into there but you can see in the new update that goes up a lot less but uh yeah so enter the weekly giveaway today we're going to be kicking off a new weekly giveaway which is going to be awesome of course now you gotta do Make sure that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and you can be entered in on this video. Y'all can enter on every last day on Earth video. Then, when Saturday rolls around, a week from now, I'll pick a random last day on Earth video. Pick a random comment from that video, and that will be Zavina. And you know what? I'll just, I'll just use an iron hatchet. Yolo, man. Let's hope there's not any any level two walls inside. Honestly, I am scared that there are gonna be, but Yolo. Noise attracts zombies. This dude's definitely did the layering tactic. I think he. Dude, it's only looking like level one walls, which means we should be able to break in pretty well. Now, the thing is, we use up right around half of a hatchet, so actually, it's kind of nifty, and I'm definitely not crafting more. That's my bad for not coming prepared and all that. Oh, yeah, and also, you guys might want to hit that notification. Ooh, oh, he's got a trunk right there. Y'all might want to hit that notification bell. Hold on, can I actually break into this, or can I only loot it? Dude, this is probably a trap, to be completely honest. His best stuff has to be smack dab in the middle, and it's got to be, like, insanely hard to get to. This guy's got a whack base design. Oh, didn't mean to start breaking into that. What? Why you do this? No. No. Well, it's okay. That thing's about to break. I wanted to loot this. It probably has nothing, dude. It's a trap trunk. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing. I don't think, uh... Actually... Okay, 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 okay. Honestly... Not that shabby, all things considered. But uh, speaking of the giveaway, if you guys want, make sure that notification bell as well so you know when the new videos come out that y'all can participate in. Uh, but I'm just going to keep on using these hatchets, honestly, and maybe I'll get around to crafting some more stuff. I'm surprised no zombies have shown up. Maybe they show. Oh, there they are. I, I had to open my big old mouth. <laughs> yes, sirree, I did. That is my specialty. 
Oh, my specialty. Another uh, very underappreciated specialty is not only shock and rain, but fooling these guys full of bullets. Yes, yeah, so that's right. You eat the bullets. But yeah, dude, the way the guy organizes his base is actually really whack because we, I think he has a chest on the outside of every one of these. So it's like almost impossible for us to make our way in. Oh, this is, uh, I don't know. There's a doorway here. Maybe the doorway is the key to success. Let's find out on today's episode of Dragon Ball Z or something. Oi, laddies, laddies, laddies. This is a little bit of success, dude. This guy's got a really interesting base design. If level one walls are still useful, honestly, not too shabby. I will acquire myself some of them tickets, and I'm just going to make sure to open up any trunk we stumble our way across. Uh, because, I don't know, it's probably not gonna have the best stuff available until we get to, like, the super interior, but, hey, at the very least, good stuff is good stuff. And even a little bit of good stuff will be good, so we don't walk away empty-handed. We'll probably have to give up end giving that aluminum to the raiders, and another reason that I love what we're doing here is because I want to find out early on, I want to be hopefully one of the first people to figure out what happens at 200 rep, because there might be some kind of secret that happens, kind of, like what happened with the infected box, because Fear never said the infected box was a thing. They just kind of dropped it like, oh, surprise, enjoy infected box. And it's like, oh, hello, infected box. Nice to see you here, But yeah, make sure that you guys don't uh, don't pull a me. Don't actually bring these things with you here. Make sure that you craft them up into level one hatchets before you do anything. And speaking of doing stuff, honestly, you know what we could do as well? Uh, a little bit. I do have a couple of crates here that I wanted to go ahead and pop open with y'all. Honestly, a couple of these might not even be too bad because we can just grab some of these hatchets from our inbox. Little, little cheatsy doodly there. But uh, that is also a good thing to do. If you guys ever do unlock these boxes, leave them in your inbox because then when you need them, you can just whip them out. You know, and it doesn't take... I don't think it raises noise... You know, compared to crafting, it is definitely a better alternative. Now, hopefully speaking, see, these, these chests are too big, so we can't do the glitch around them. Or maybe we can. Supposedly, there's a glitch where the zombies will, like, I don't know, they'll, like, try, they think they can get through here if you're close enough there, and... Maybe, maybe we'll be able to finesse or capitalize on that. I don't know. Let's continue our way of the breaking in variety. And uh, we got a little bit of a chest here. Okay. Let's break into you. Let's not accidentally start chopping things down. And I want to keep going kind of closer to the center. I feel like the center has got to have the goodies. Because here, yeah, it's uh, it's poopy. Let's, let's make our way over to the center and hopefully find something. Especially before the big one decides to show his uh, big old fuggly face. I really hope there's something good. I want to walk out of here with the good stuff, especially because our base is probably going to be raided to poop after what's going to go down. And hello, we got some visitors. Hello, visitors. How do you do? Go away. Nothing to see here besides medical supplies. Oh, mama. You know what we might want to do actually very quickly now that I think about it? First things first. This thing's about to break. Let's heal up. Let's uh, equip this thing. That gives us another inventory slot to play with. Hopefully, we find a good chest before it's too late. But I'm honestly happy. We're actually getting good bases to raid, not just really poopy ones with, like, nothing in them, you know? Or just, they're just, like, wide open. Honestly, even if I don't get good stuff, I like the challenge of raiding bases in this way. It's a lot... I don't know, man. You know, it's a lot better than just, like, having the wide open, not having to use anything. It's pretty dope. Uh, can I actually get something? Mm, I mean, that's okay. I guess I could collect some of these things. Not, nothing to write home about, and I think we got... We got one more. No, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. No. Well, it's better have some good. I used a freaking C4 to get here. Dear mama. Talk about a total dingus move. And this big one is going to be coming in hot boy. Hopefully we are not trapped in here. That would be bad. Uh, okay. Well, he's got nothing that great. I'm just going to take all and run for the hills because this guy is about to trap me. And that's not good. We ouch. I know I could have put some stuff in the chopper, but honestly, there's just not a lot of good stuff to be had in that raid. But you can see we have reached level one threat level. The goal is level four and possibly even level five. Now, I do want, I don't want to have to like do all the, I don't want this to be like a three hour video, right? So I did get a couple of coins as well so we could rush through these quests. And also because apparently, just word of warning when it comes to the Raiders quest, apparently, uh, Kafir also, by the way, I saw a lot of people commenting, Kafir is working at least for 
from what I saw, they're already working on a bug fix. I actually asked the dude, I'm like, hey, uh, you guys know about this, right? And they're like, yeah, we're working on it ASAP. It's absolutely awful. So they're working on that loot me glitch fix. Like they're not just ignoring it. Don't worry, guys. So that's good. But also, uh, what is it? What I want to do is try to knock out all these quests. And uh, apparently what's happening, at least at the moment, hold on. I gotta think about what to give this man, but apparently the bunker is what's glitzing out some people's games. Like apparently the bunker is super laggy and stuff. So this guy's quest is kind of sketchy at the moment. Kafir definitely does have to fix it, but for the sake of trying, I just want to find out what happens at that mythical fifth threat level and see if it is anything worthwhile. Uh, we could probably hold on. If I split this up, do you like it more? Is that is that a no? Splitting up does not make him like it anymore or any less i thought that was like a myth or something we could give him these i don't know i think he seems to like these i don't want to give them all i think four usually makes him happy but it's usually like the weird no th he's happy with three. Oh my god dude he's happy with like two of these puppies well i'll give him three for good measure all right because i want to make sure that we sometimes you only get two rep out of deals with them i want to get three so we can advance up to 200 or as fast as we can seems true no i could trust you sure thing there you go enjoy the deal there buddy and then we can head on over to our radio in our newly organized base currently the organization of the base is not the greatest uh it will definitely get better no worries about that as i kind of start like putting related things in rooms but for now i just wanted to kind of like you know actually make some rooms a lot of you guys were like star you're just gonna upgrade your one by one base no i was just doing the one by one wall tactic because that was the best tactic back then but now that we got another tactic on our hands you know I saw that tactic and I'm like, oh, 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 I gotta make use of this. Another thing that hopefully we can make use of and hopefully we can start making use of very soon. Let's open up some of these packs for stash making. I'd love to get my hands on a military box. Honestly, or just have somewhere to throw all of our raid loot into. So let's try and open some of these puppies. Oh, a little bit of steel always goes a long way for trying to upgrade some more walls. But cross your fingers for me, lads, and hope that we get some of them extremely rare items. Even the very rare, dude. I, I'm, I'm pretty stoked with steel five steel that is a lot of steel like whenever i open infected boxes and get like three steel dude i still get hyped steel is still such a valuable commodity and that's why i don't know i i like these packs this pack i honestly like more than the pack for unlocking i except i don't know if you really want guaranteed hatchets but all you can get is guns out of there like the guaranteed things are better but the things you have a chance of getting out of this pack between steel the biggest box in the game and the safest storage in the game i'm sorry man and also it's half the price of that other one like i'm not i'm honestly not a huge fan of that other one compared to this this thing right here is bay but mainly because it, it is a dollary do and i like dollary do's they're better than double dollary do's for the sake of my wallet and my gift cards and my luck which is not looking very good yeah i mean these are extremely rare to be fair Ooh, look at those rhymes boy i got the flair hit him with the rick flair Woo! but <laughs> yeah dude they are extremely rare we've had okay luck with these before but it, it does appear that things are pretty poopy like it's good that we have two military boxes from stuff we've been doing before but i would have just loved to even get i mean we still do, I'm, I'm saying this like our chances are over we still got like five boxes to open on up after this but uh let's be honest our luck probably isn't that great our luck's been we got a safe which is awesome which i will show off because i forgot to actually uh head on over to the safe and pop it open so i actually do that right here because i didn't do that last episode apologies for that uh hopefully they do i think that is a really big problem that the only way currently of getting the safe in the military box is in these things i know a lot of you guys are talking about that. i totally agree i don't want to i'd like i don't i don't think anyone wants this to be the only way to get safes and military boxes like hopefully they add ooh, a little bit more steel but that's all we got hopefully they add them as like bunker loot or i don't know floppy disks even something like that because right now it's not looking to be the uh, greatest of luck in that sense uh speaking of that why don't i go ahead i'm just gonna eat a ton of carrot stew here uh i'm gonna try and find some partially empty stuff also going to pick up some of these hatchets that we could then go ahead and utilize throughout our misadventures um make sure that we'll grab Honestly, I'll just go with one C4 if we ever really needed more. This iron is going to be really good for future upgrades as well. Um, I'm trying. I thought I had an empty box somewhere around here. It sucks that there's a limit on the amount of small boxes you can have. So I'd have to upgrade some of these puppies to level two. And uh, oh my goodness, inventory space is 
spares. But here we can take a look very quickly at the safe. So far, what I'm storing here is just honestly my most valuable stuff, which is 40 engine parts and electronic circuit, which I still only have one of. And it's definitely one of the rare items in the game. Dude, if I ever raid one of these, I might cry. That'd be crazy. Like a stack of engine parts would be dope, but one of these, that'd be loco. And of course, a couple of grenade launchers being the strongest weapons in the game. Here we can put the nails away, some of the gold. And from there, we should be able to toss some of these green coupons. And we're going to be able to open up so many things in the bunker, which is awesome news. And okay, what do we want to grab here? Probably want a silenced weapon, as that will usually come in handy. So we could bring that uh, along with our half used pistol here. I think I'll, I'll use the pistol for the early waves that we got to deal with and uh why, why don't we grab one more c4 for for good measure you know you never know when it might be useful and hopefully i don't accidentally use it because dear god that was quite ugly to be honest uh and then what else we can do from there is where did i put the wood it was in one of the chests woody 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 Hold on. Wood? Oh, okay. I just got my things mixed up. We can do that. And this is what you want to do. Make sure to craft your hatchets before you go. That's cheeky that they did that, man. I don't think that that was a thing before, but crafting these things definitely does help. And I'm honestly, I have like a pretty good amount of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to leave these and just use them. Uh, if I don't find any good loot, I'll probably just leave the hatchets and stuff on me, you know, because listen, we're gonna be doing so many raids right now that I'm worried about the big baller stuff. Great news, we're up to 21 there. Uh, in terms of these, a lot of you guys are confused. You think you have to do this with melee. You don't, you can you can do bunker with anything. Some of you guys were asking for a guide of how to do the bunker in melee. I actually did that a while ago. Uh, if you guys, you should just be able to look up like Star Snipe Bunker Melee or something. Uh, I, that should be over there somewhere in the YouTube archives or something of that sort. Because the bunker has been out for so long that most of the strategies from before still work i seriously think they gotta fix this bring it down to two deals because right now i don't know most people only visit the dealer like once a day or you know what they should do you know what would be an awesome idea dude they gotta add the ability all right to like on the radio talk with the dealer so at least you know what to bring them you don't have to do a couple trips back and forth i honestly think they should bring this down to like maybe 15 to 20 chests right now this is glitched where the c4 you get from red crates doesn't work so they should probably fix that asap and maybe iron hatchet that quest isn't even bad because it's always a good idea to have iron hatchets but god it pains me to do this dude i don't i don't like blowing through all these coins either it's very painful because some of these things are very reasonable to do some of them are ridiculous don't get me wrong looking at you dealer but uh some of them are more than reasonable and not like clearing out the bunker i mean if you just i think one or two pistols and you should be good after that just melee weapons and band-aids honestly there's usually nothing too crazy after that like all you have to worry about is killing the frenzy giants from range and then i don't know if you have a couple of solid melee weapons you, you should be good to go heals yeah even like some military armor you should get and by the time you open up your first red crate boom you got some extra guns lying over there clearing out the bunker is a great kind of like I don't know, it's a great thing to do, but I, I, I'm i pretty heavy on the train where they should uh, fix some things up. But while we make our way over to the player's base, I just want to very quickly announce the winner of this past week's giveaway. So the randomly chosen video that we chose was actually yesterday's where we were talking about our uh, metal base. We installed it, did some building there, and also showed off the new crates, the safe, and uh, the new rating system and all that. So congratulations to my man, Why man I like how Star just used the cleanse infected boxes and other storage. LOL. Congrats to you, man. I'm glad that you enjoyed my tactics. Uh, you have been messaged on the YouTube. Make sure to check your inbox. Inbox will be in the pinned comment or in the description. One of the two. Make sure to head on over to that. And uh, from there, just reply to my message. Let me know iOS or Android. And I'll get that $25 gift card straight over to you on the lickety splits. But right now, we got a base raid we got to do on the lickety splits. Will it be wide open? Oh, no, no, no. I feel like the more we do this the better bases we come across am i crazy have you guys i'd love to hear this in the comment section too and this is a thing too i love asking you guys stuff in the comments if you're new uh, i'd love to hear how your raids are going so far because as you progress are you guys just in general getting harder raids or is it legit as your reputation goes up you raid better bases because we're slowly getting better bases man maybe, maybe i'm crazy but uh honestly dude i think this is this is this might be a very good raid because i think we're gonna be able to like entirely break in in one fell swoop and hopefully not hit those things those would be painful how much noise do these things make Ooh, good amount of noise Ooh, he's got a second layer you know that's where the goodies are gonna be stored actually you know it's usually a good way of checking 
how advanced people are usually honestly what i'd recommend y'all do head on over to that little motorcycle he do you see that he's only got one engine part in there so maybe I mean, he's got stone on the ground though so i think that means he stores his engine parts somewhere and he hasn't used them yet which is a great sign for us so uh, why don't we go and try to break our way into here and get into some bigger chests because some of those chests should have some very good stuff i think the zombies are gonna start running after us soon yeah this interior area Hopefully all will be well here. I think this guy was even getting ready to actually build up an even stronger base defense. But we got access to everything, two hatchets in, and oh, that. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. That's a lot of pine planks. Worst case, if everything else is lackluster, dude, that's still a ton of pine planks we can take home. And pine planks are kind of super freaking dope. Now, hopefully there's better, but uh, listen, dude, that right there between the bricks and stuff, that's some base upgrades, man. I actually would not mind taking some of this back home. Oh, yes, sir. -y. Yes, sir. Let's continue breaking in, though. There, there's got to be better stuff. This is the interior loot room. Two walls. In Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm saying goodbye to some of them stone bricks, saying hello to some of them better things right there. Dude, one of these has to be an engine compartment, man. Show me the engine parts. Show me the engine parts. That's not an engine part. Although, I did see a branch spanking. I don't know if it was branch spanking, but I did see a relatively newer VSS. That always is a good thing to invest into, my comrades. And I know this is not good. Okay, that dude died just in time. Uh, hopefully, I can get this guy to just run on the spikes a lot because I'm currently... Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on, hit the spikes. Hit the spikes. Yes, good lad. Good lad. Let's uh, dodge and weave a little bit. Ow. Ow, there we go. Dude, this is actually like, pretty handy. He kind of he kind of goes through these things. A Ow, I I'm almost dead. Dear mama. And you can see he's hitting these things a lot, and I don't. I just don't want to end up using my VSS. So instead, I will use this base for the greater good, which is, of course, watching this guy just hit a bajillion spikes and eventually die. Dude, whoever made this base, I think they made it like... I think they made it with us in mind because this is this is too nice, man. This is too nice. You can literally just run laps around the owl. You can run laps around the base, and I'm pretty sure zombies will just slowly end up killing themselves <laughs> off of the things, which is, dude, that's a full quality VSS, man. That is, that's gorgeous. That's nice. That's, that's nice. Okay, hold on, though. I do want to kind of bring in a healthy mix of these two, so goodbye to the old hatchets. Hello to these freaking things. And I know there are engine parts. Maybe in this chest, the one that's the deepest embedded in there. Hopefully, this doesn't summon a zombie horde. Because I just don't have any weapons in here. Oh, oh, nothing crazy, but nothing bad. That is for sure. And we still have his outer chest to loot. Oh, and always make sure to loot this. Uh, oh, thank you. I was starting to get hungry. Also, some people uh, get salty at me that I rate other people saying it's not fair. Guys, the way the rating system work is my raid does not literally steal stuff from the other person my raid steals stuff from a copy of the other dude's base and when you get stole stuff stolen from you that's an ai stealing it from you so just a little clarification there all right if it was different then i would probably be a little bit nicer because i know a lot of y'all out there might be struggling this isn't real multiplayer yet it's kind of like a it, i don't know they kind of it's kind of it's it's an interesting ow interesting situation to describe but uh now i just gotta describe this chopper put the goodies in there oh you know that full quality vss is definitely a goodie uh I'll probably put in the c4 definitely don't want to leave those behind and definitely bring in the iron hatchet back for a uh, future reference and i'll make sure to probably bring we'll bring a row of both of these we got this stuff and that leaves us five slots of relatively good stuff we can bring home and do this is gonna be awesome i just love getting tickets from these raids because then i can be a boom and not raid the bunker or not do bunker runs and instead just use the tickets we get from this which is nifty i am lazy i am a lazy boy what can i say <laughs> okay um and nothing too crazy. oh whoa, 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 whoa. honestly yo i'll take that man i'll take that i'll use that for future raids that thing's full quality I won't take the rest of your stuff, but I will definitely take some of that. And I'll take some planks for the time being. I think planks are a bit more helpful, but that's perfect because that'll be awesome for actually upgrading my walls. And it looks like he has three or four chests we can loot after this. And, uh, ooh, yes, sir. I'll definitely pick those up. Um, I'll use the rest of this VSS too for, for the next wave of zombies. Maybe I'll get the hell out of Dodge before the next wave. I don't, I don't know if I want to deal with them too much. We'll have to, uh, We'll have to see. Have they been summoned or is it the next box I loot? 
that will summon them. I, if, if, I, I don't know if it's really worth opening up that small chest. The stuff out here is pretty lackluster. Uh, I will steal your two band-aids and yeah, I'm out, dude. I don't want to use this VSS on these guys. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me check this, uh, let me check this kiting strategy here. This might be quite worth, oh, yes. Oh, mama, yes. These dudes, they wander too close and it's perfect for us. Not these dudes. These dudes are a little bit too smart. They're uh, too smart for their own good, but you can see this is awesome. If you guys ever find a base like this, definitely exploit it because these spikes don't even make noise. It's so nifty, and especially the bigger guys, they're so easy. Dude, this guy had to design his base. I, this, I think this guy, I think he wanted people to raid his base. I, I salute this man, because this type of a base raid is just, it's built for murdering the people, the zombies that want to murder us. So honestly, we should be able to get away with opening that last small chest and uh, honestly probably getting something better than a bandage for... The last thing we take home maybe some iron too i know we need iron for level three uh flooring i would know i had to install a lot of level three flooring call me the last day on earth carpenter at this rate thank you for the turkey i was feeling something nifty uh honestly dude i might just take some jerky i actually mm, is food really all is that important i don't know is there really is there anything good here i mean i, I might just take more planks home honestly maybe some iron eh, eh. Uh, I, I like planks and we do need more planks than we need stone bricks I think to upgrade to level three walls or no I think planks are for level no because level no 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 level three walls level three walls use bricks level two walls use planks so we kind of need a little bit of both does this man have any stone lying around like just unprocessed stone I would actually love that now that I think about it hello hello oh actually you know what else I might loot I might loot one of his good workbenches because there is a chance he's uh, processing some pretty heavy stuff in here. You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. Anything good? Possibly? Eh, just some iron and a uh, big one getting feisty. Nah, we, uh, we outcha. Let's get out. I think I don't, I don't want to summon the big one. He's, uh, he's not good, especially because you can't actually kill him. I, this was a pretty popular thing when I was streaming the other day. A lot of people were asking me like, Star, kill the big one, kill the big one. Um, you literally can't kill the big one at the moment. Please leave with message after the beep. Beep. As soon as he gets over, as soon as he gets below 200 health, I think it is, he just automatically regenerates to 1,000. And because the big one takes less damage than uh, normal, there is no weapon out there that can do 200 damage to the big one to kill him. Like the raiders that attack you, on the other hand, that, that that's possible. And uh, all right, we haven't been raided yet. That's a good sign. Hello, raider, I have some goods for you. I heard you like the aluminum bars. Is that plenty of a bribe for you? Is this a joke? Do you like, yeah, how many of these? Honest, mm, I, I kind of want to keep the stone. Hold on, I'm gonna check this because our inbox, we should have some leftover stuff. We have, uh, we should have uh, a very good amount of bricks, not as many pine planks. So honestly, I will, the bricks, that is your reward. Not too bad. I'll give you four just to play it safe. And so hopefully, uh, honestly, take all the bricks, man. Take them. All right, just make sure that you give me all that reputation. Remember, remember me, will you? All right, we got two more raids until we hit that level four threat level. You can see, looks like every time you go up a threat level, you go up 250 coins to reset the threat level. Honestly, besides the poopiness of the fact that you can reset it, dude, I honestly think that it is freaking awesome that you like, I don't know, the way that they changed the rating system where you're not like, if you raid once, you're at risk forever. If you raid once, you're only at risk for every raid you do for like 24 hours, dude. That's that's not that on I'd love that system so much. And I feel like that's such a like not talked about part of this update that is honestly super, super dope. And uh, don't worry, I'll end up making these hallways and stuff prettier. We do still have a little bit of the leftovers here, like over here. I got a lot of protection to protect this loot room, which is kind of the golden stuff. Uh, we got a lot of things here to try and deter them from coming that way. Uh, but what I should be able to do here, I'll probably just put the planks away up in this hither. But here, dude, look at, oh my goodness gracious. We, oh my God, dude, we are hitting the stockpile and jackpot. And it's kind of uh, absolutely amazing. I'll actually bring that extra body armor with me too. Put the rest of the jazz away. And with a couple of those hatchets that we will be needing, it's time for us probably to head on over to raid Numero Trace. Are you guys ready? Because these raids, dude, 
I feel like honestly the more rep you get it honestly feels like they're getting better So let's find our raid and buddies. You can usually just scroll around a lot That's honestly what you can do You just tune this all the way and eventually these things will pop up letting you know the channels This is the Raider channel and over here. We have the radio channel what I'm saying though, dude They need a channel for the dealer where he tells you what he wants. That'd be so dope Especially because it looks like they want to add more functionality to the radio Which is honestly I love the new radio interface, but if they're doing this it's got to be for more than two reasons Reasons, so please add in some sort of like a dealer screen uh, Raiding buddies. Where are you guys? Hello? Why are you not coming? Is this your shenanigans? No, no, there's it. Oh my goodness. They just popped on up. Hello, buddies uh, Pains me to do this dear God it does but for the sake of science and finding out if that fifth threat level does exist Let's do it now. I wish I just wish there was a way for like, I don't know more than just coins, you know? I wish like these quests were slightly easier where like it's realistic to be able to do them more often. Like I don't mind the quest line if it actually does something. Right now it's not really doing anything besides just like making it harder to raid. Although there could be a situation, you know, where it lets you, it does maybe makes it a bit harder to raid, but you can actually raid more often. That'd be a pretty dope trade off if you ask me, but there are the two silenced weapons we are bringing. Let's see what this brings to us and let's keep on bringing that heat towards us as well. All right, Igor Sorza71, it is your time to die. Well, no, he's, he's not actually home, so it's not time for him to die. It's time for me to raid a copy of your base and be the ruthless raider I was born to be. No worries, though. We will uh, probably get raided pretty hard back, and I want to see... I wonder if the raiders, like I'm putting all my loot at risk here to bring this threat level up to four. That's why I actually want to protect my base a lot more. Uh, but I want to figure out if higher threat levels maybe lead to stronger raiders that bring more stuff. So hopefully by tomorrow we'll know and hello, don't, okay. Just a uh, bajillion doors here. All right, Bazinga. Uh, he's got some chests there. I'm pretty sure, ooh, a chopper you say? Yeah. Did he leave anything good in there? Uh, some gas. Why the hell not? I enjoy gas. I'll, I'll search his pickup truck too. Those are probably trap chests. Uh, this, this guy looks like he knew what he was doing. Uh, also, can I pour some gas? Marvelous! We have a full stack of gas. Only the best thing imaginable. Now this guy probably does have a pretty good setup, but at least these things barely raise the noise level, which is good, and we should be able to get to the center of his base. And honestly, if he's using this tactic, I feel like A, his best stuff will be smack dab in the center, and B, oh, that stuff will just be waiting. It will be waiting, and it's all marvelous glory. <laughs> Bless up that these this thing barely makes any noise. It might seem like it makes a lot of noise, but it's weird. Like, the first, like, you see it does half a bar. That doesn't mean it's going to do a half a bar all the way up there. You know, it kind of changes a little bit the way it, it's, it's complicated. Like... This isn't linear. It's not like half of this is equal to half of that. Like that's still like only about that much, which is, oh no, don't start breaking. Oh, I accidentally started breaking out the wrong thing. Half of that isn't like half of like a future bar. You know, it's a little bit different. Uh, and also we messed up our hatchets by accidentally swinging on one thing that we shouldn't have. Sh sh noise attracts zombies. Whatever you say, my dude, all I know is that this man definitely is gonna have the jackpot all the way in the center. Oh, could this be it or is this another trap? Uh, we got a couple more of these puppies, and honestly, I won't mind using some of my broken down axe there. So I was just going to use that in addition to that one to break down a level 2 wall. Kind of a double whammy, but is this really that central? No. And if this dude was following the right tactics, he's going to have his best stuff in as central of a location as possible. So you know what that means. That means we got to continue chopping a little bit and just eating through this stuff like a bota. And ooh, oh, hold on. Check this out. Can we... uh? Oh, some people were saying apparently you can steal this. I wonder if I brought three engine parts, could I finalize this and steal it? Ooh. Ooh. I, I don't think I can finalize other people's stuff, but that would have actually been pretty cool. Okay, let's see what's here. Let's see if these are any good chests or if this is like another uh, trap room. Ooh. Ah. Uh, not the worst thing. I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna keep on breaking through these level one walls though, just because they are so cheap and oh mama no, I I can't. The generator's in the way. This man's using the generator as a trap. Evil, magnificently evil. Uh, that's okay though. Let's break into this. See what this has got for us. See if maybe that goes a little bit smoother. And ah, uh, I mean he's, th these are kind of like slightly rare items. You know, they're they're not the most uncommon things in the world. But ah, uh, I'm gonna keep on digging. 
I think I think that the best stuff might be near that generator surrounding it even there you go break through that mm, Maybe not we don't really have, uh, I could just use these two one. I, I don't mind that let's try and break through two more walls and see if that gets us anywhere uh, Anywhere productive. Let's make sure that we're aiming at the right wall too. Hello. Can you can you break into that wall there, buddy? Just just uh, that 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 one right there. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do this by mouse that wall right there there you go was that so hard to do probably was you were struggling pretty hard oh i think uh bazinga that's the mother load where are all these zombies they're not coming after me are we in too deep oh i don't know dude this this right here I, if he's got his trunks in here he's definitely got his best stuff oh i like what i see now oh i like what i see now that is are those zombies coming after us yet dude or did, did, did this glitch out? Are the zombies just not going to show up? Am I too pretty? Too handsome for them to come? Maybe. Who the hell knows? What do we got? <laughs> Nothing great there. Now are they coming? Dude, that, that meter's up a lot, man. I don't... I I think this... Dude, I think we might... It might be glitched. Hold on. We got to uh, capitalize on such an amazing opportunity. Glitched, you say? Oh, I like the sound of that. I also like the sound of eating all of your food, all of the carrots, drinking all of your, not all of it. I'm just getting a little bit thirsty. Dude, if for some reason this is happening, this could be very nice. They're all like, do you, do you see that? They're like all over there. They're like spawning in, but they're not doing anything. Dude, what is going on? I don't know. I love it. I'm gonna capitalize on it. Uh, I'm gonna just take whatever I can get, dude. This is some, where's the real valuables though? This isn't, this looks okay. It doesn't look that great though. I'm looking for greatness. This isn't the greatness I desire. Ooh, ooh. That's, that's a little bit on the greater side. Uh, thank you kindly. I might even say goodbye nails. Hello to that. So maybe a full stack of this stuff even. Mm, maybe goodbye to the iron plates. Hello to four or five raw aluminum once we can do it. If the, if the big one or the, yeah, if the big one never ends up coming here. Although I think you'll end up teleporting. I, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take my fortune with a smile. Because as soon as I wander out of here, it's definitely gonna go to poops, Phil. Uh, I wonder if building this way maybe will be uh, good to us. Let's, uh, let's find out. I got a good feeling about this way. This man, I don't know. He might, ooh. He does have some stuff here, actually. Hidden chest potentially with the good stuff. I really hope the big one doesn't teleport to me. That could be, ooh. It, uh, not too shabby to say the least. Hold on. Okay, these two hatchets are about to break. So I will uh, take these connecting rods and let's see if this if this trunk right here has that which we seek. And hopefully the big one does not track us down. Please. Uh, ooh, actually some new SWAT armor. I'll take that. Uh, we can still open up one more chest though. Uh, I guess we could open up one of these. I mean, this obviously isn't the best stuff, but it's not the worst either, dude. This is so cool finding all these different people's types of like base designs, the way that they work. Uh, so I think the big one might teleport to us, though. I think he's programmed to teleport if we uh, survive too long, which is definitely what's happening right now. But oh, oh, Jesus! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what he does. Run, run! Oh my goodness! Yeah, this is the entire zombie horde. We out of here! No, 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 no! That was a blessing. We had no pressure. We had to deal with none of those guys. Had to use no silenced weapons, and we're walking out of here. We didn't use all of our loots, but uh, it still went well. We're up to level three, as you can see, and we have a hell of a lot of coinage. We're gonna have to survive, not survive, but we have a. Uh, well, it would take a hell of a lot of coinage at this rate, and dude, level four. We're gonna find out what that does next as soon as we gotta turn our stuff into the raiders too. Hello, my raiding brethren. Oh, thank you. I know, I have such a great reputation with you guys. It's just so great working with you. I know, right? Yeah, I'm gonna keep these connecting rods though. I, I like the connecting rods I've been getting. Um, you on the other hand, I hear that you enjoy my friend known as Aluminium. No, dude, last time they got that, I feel like they legit know what you got out of the raid and they expect to be compensated fairly. So that, they say, seems true there. They say this works, so if we put in three, they say not bad. Honestly, I'm just gonna give them all the aluminum, or do they like raw aluminum? Do they like that? Not bad, you can do it when you want. Oh, well, why don't I give you guys a little bit of this? Seems true? Yeah, see, seems good. 
okay dude as long as we're walking out of these raids with positive aluminum i'm a pretty happy camper so uh take your trade glad you enjoyed hopefully we got the three reputation out of that i'm gonna go organize things a little bit and with our s not svn dude i'm in programming mode with our vss puts away we have five vsss almost all full quality we're bringing this one over for the raids uh we do need to craft a couple of hatchets but we'll go ahead and just do that before we hop into the base what we do have is also a couple of visitors we must say hello to where would our manners be if we did not say hello so hello my traitors how are you 26 oh they only gave us two reputation that time really did i not give you enough it seemed like you were happy with what i gave you but i suppose not i hope you're happy with this though now i'm wondering oh yeah let's uh, let's complete that let's head on over next see what i'm wondering though you know i'm scared here i'm wondering if this Will it even let us continue raiding once we're at threat level 4? Or honestly, is being at that threat level 4 kind of good if you want to get a ton of raids out the way at once? I'm kind of conflicted in that uh, ideology slash thought pattern, but let's get to driving. Let's head on over to raid numero quattro. I'd love to hear from you guys which raid you guys think was the best in terms of loot as well, but uh, MMOP. Hello, my friend. How do you do? And with the last hatchet crafted up, I'm definitely going to be willing to part ways with uh, these two things. By the way, don't even worry about that. But we're pretty well set up. We're missing a bit of health. That's all right. Let's see. Do the base designs get more intricate or uh, what's going on here? I hope the revenge rate is really good, too, because, dude, at level four threat level, we got to be like guaranteed to get raided or something. If this guy's a wide open base. I'm going to be. Oh, really? OK, well. Maybe it is all just, maybe the type of base legit does not matter because uh, this dude is wide open. Ooh, this chest is colored blue. Maybe it's just water. Maybe he's trying to be funny and like, it's blue because there's water. Dang it! I was right. Never trust the colored chest. Uh, he does have a generator here that he is also in the midst of working on. I think. Uh, definitely in the midst. Maybe he'll have some stuff. Buy it. At this point, we just gotta try and get lucky with the chest we open. That's 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 the game we're playing. So let's hope that uh, it's a game that turns out well. He hasn't put any parts into that. If you put any parts into the motorcycle, I he's put in seven engine parts, and he doesn't have too many walls. So I don't think he's super advanced in that sense. Uh, it's not looking like the best rating prospects so far. I guess I could pick up some of those and might as well grab some tape. That's always handy for crafting more stuff. Get out of here, my friends. No, 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 no. Go away. Shoo, 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 shoo. You are like a shoe, so go away. Go back to your box. Go to your box. No, I am not a box. I am a person. And this hurts me. Sincerely, Star. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna try to open up the trunks first. I feel like, I don't know. Doesn't it make sense to store your best stuff in the, ooh. Not too bad. Doesn't it make sense to store your best stuff in the biggest chest? So I'm thinking maybe these. This one's by the smelter. Maybe he stores some metals in here. <laughs> yeah, this is a great start for the boys in blue. I don't even know if I'm in blue. The boys in black, the SWAT armor. Even though I don't have full SWAT armor, I'm definitely taking the copper. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Great start. Let's keep on doing these. Uh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you been making anything in your workbench, my friend? I see you had your hand on some steel plates. Maybe there is, uh... Ah, no. That's always a good thing to check. If they ever have... Oh, there's another one, though. Oh, get out of here. No. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, we got a lot of people to deal with. Oh, no. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. We got abominations, too. They are a little bit on the quicker side. I just want to shoot these dudes. Kill them before they get to me, and then we'll deal with them. Hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna run away as far as I can, and then the dealing will begin, just because I want to take minimal damage. We got one more wave to deal with after this. That's probably when we'll whip out the VSS. Hopefully, he's got a good weapons crate somewhere that's stored with some weapons. I'd love to get a VSS, even like a used one, because that's... I love using used VSS. <laughs> using used. Using used VSSs on the types of uh, raid and adventures, just because... I don't know. I, I like to think they're a pretty good usage of them. Uh, what is it? We Let's finish picking this up. Maybe there will be something inside. Maybe? No, nah, he wasn't crafting nothing, and we're almost already filled up. I say let's try to open up. We still have three more trunks by the looks of it. Other than that, we've popped open every trunk in existence. So I think we should be able to squeeze in these three. Uh, let's definitely head on over to the VSS though. And uh, I'll be ready to ditch that if need be. I feel like this though, this is by the food and the crops. I feel like this might be a food chest. Oh, 
I was mistaken. Uh, well, that pistol's about to go bad anyways. Uh, some people say I should look at spray paints more often. Apparently, I've missed some, like, holiday spray paints. Um, I mean, those are good and all, but... How good are they really? Also, bless up. I'm definitely, I'm, I'm all aboard the connecting rod stockpile train. All right, those puppies were useful before. Now, definitely a bit less useful that we built the acid bath, but there is definitely uh, a reason for them to be used in the future. Also, bless up for the VSS, dude. It takes things out. Lickety split. These guys, on the other hand, no, you broke my shoes. I'm a slowpoke now. How could you do this? Uh, we might need to acquire some pantaloons and also acquire some booties because uh, we ain't got no booties right now. And that is of the most no bueno variety. Uh, what do we get out of here? Just a couple of these things. Might as well grab those. Never never hurt nobody. Rubber parts will be great. Honestly, I might just start tossing these into the ATV because I know the ATV needs a stupid amount of these. And I hope we're ready to run for the hills because when that big one shows up, we got to run extra hard because, uh, ooh... Got a ton of gas. All right, let's fill up the motorcycle with some stuff here for raid numero cuatro. Uh, where are these dudes? This is also the one nice thing about the update that I do like. It does suck that it has to be a pay to win part of the update, but it's really nice. Just technically speaking, I can do raids every day in every video instead of having to wait every three days. Now, that doesn't mean every day is gonna be a five raid type of thing, but I might start doing maybe like one raid a day, start incorporating that into things. I think that's a pretty, pretty good way of doing it. And let's definitely put these things away. Want to save those for future usage and let's grab what we can. Hopefully some shoes that we can find. We'll be able to open up, I think, uh, a couple, one or two more or something like that. But gas is, that's a great thing to invest in. New digital cameras, I feel like, are rare. Thumb drives. Dude, I, I, I've never seen people with a ton of those. I've seen people with some. But I'm, I, personally, I don't have a ton either, so I'd love to start stockpiling those, which is exactly what I am doing. And uh, honestly, I'm pretty low on car air, air filters too. So goodbye to the hatchet. Hello to you. Now, where did we find the best stuff? That's that's a question we got to solve, and there's a reason for that. Also, I'll, I'm stealing some of your clothes. Sorry, man. All right, you have a nice wardrobe. Uh, where did we find the really good stuff? I think it was by the schmelter, right? So that makes me think that maybe the other good stuff will also be by the schmelter. Maybe one of these is like a charcoal chest. I wouldn't mind a whole ton of charcoal for the low, low cost of metal shards. Nope, not interested in that. Maybe, uh, maybe here? This one's right by a schmelter. I wonder if he actually, I wonder if he's been schmelting copper or anything like that. It's a possibility and, ah, we got one more chest. YOLO, let's try and pop open one of these and see if anything good comes out of it. If not, I'm happy with the loot we got to head on home. All right, I've overstayed my welcome. Hello, Toxic Abomination. I'm not, I'm worried, I'm worried about that thing. I'm worried about that thing. Let's head, dude, these raiders, they're probably gonna want a pretty solid haul. All things considered. Uh, here we have it. Threat of attack at level four. What happens at level five? Let's find out. Maybe it just resets the timer so it automatically goes up to like four days or something. But here you can see 992 coins will be able to reset. Uh, let's find out if maybe after we do one more raid, if it caps out at a thousand, if it keeps on growing, maybe it just lasts longer, but it's you're not more likely to be raided. Maybe we'll come home to being raided. I don't know but I am excited to see. All right, great news. We actually haven't been raided yet. We do have our raider brethren to speak to. Hello, Batis. Remember our, wait, I only got two reputation again? Oh man, or no, was it that from, I don't even remember. Do you like gas masks? Uh, we got, oh, they, oh, he's not a fan of gas masks. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, what, what are you a fan of? Do you like rubber parts? Oh, he does not enjoy those. Does not enjoy those either. Definitely not a man of the furs. Ooh, he's a car air filter type of guy. Good thing that I'm trying to save those for myself. Um, do you like charcoal? No. Copper raw? No. Weapon parts? No. Damn, dude. He's a little bit picky, isn't he? All right, hold on. Is there maybe anything good in the chat? No, that's all. Hmm. We might need a we might need a fandangle a good deal. I don't want to give. Uh, dude, he's not. He's pretty upset with like the good stuff too. So uh, he's not happy with any of this. Damn, we're at a crossroads. I could give him that. I don't want to give him all the aluminum. That's the best part. He's not happy with that. He likes the car air filter. Dude, this sucks. I could give him some stuff from our bit. You know what? Uh, I'll, I'll split it with you. Is that? Mm, no, he's not, he's not a splitting type of guy. This works. Now tell me where you stash the rest. Oh, this savage. You like tape? No. Connecting rot? No. Rubber? No. Will any of these push you over the edge? 
All right, guys, uh, by the looks of it, nothing else out of this raid. I know we could give him stuff from our base, but honestly, I'm I'm a fair man. He seemed he, he was good to me. We got some steel out of it, which is what I'm happy with mainly. Uh, I'll, you, can, you can have all of that. Go ahead and enjoy all of the aluminum. There seems true. Knew I could trust you. Yeah, you could totally trust me. Thanks for the highway robbery. Now I need to go and eat some freaking food and embark on raid number five to see what this mythical raid may do. And all right, boys, after some inventory management, reacquiring of the C4 and acquiring of these things, we're gonna put those away. The way you order your inventory does matter because the game will prioritize whatever is first. So I like to put the C4 in the back, followed by the level two walls, followed by the level one wall breakers. And then we also have the VSS, which is getting pretty broken, which is kind of worrying because I'm also only bringing a half broken modified uh, silenced Glock we got there. But hello, raiding buddies. Hello, yes, yes, I know, I know. Take take my coins, you freaking fiends, with your quest line of evil. I'll complete it. Go to the mobile map to see a base to be attacked. Don't forget to take a backpack, tools, and some big gun. Another thing I'm gonna make sure to do is actually put that guess away. Uh, probably into here for the time being. Hopefully I remember to move that and I don't just leave it there. That would not be good, but uh, we're pretty set up. This pistol should get us through at least the first wave. The VSS will probably get us through the second wave. And honestly, hopefully we find a gun to get us through the third wave of zombies because I am not thinking that far ahead. And also, sorry, this video is going to end up coming out a little bit on the later side, but I really wanted to pull off this idea now that it was possible to do five raids in one video. And I wanted to see what happens here i want to know okay so you can see it's gonna take 991 coins will it matter if we attack will there be a fifth threat level or is this where it caps out i don't know this is where we find out in the feature length film brought to you by papa star and papa star productions now then base uh, any stone or all hall is this gonna be a closed up ah uh, not too promising so far not promising at all oh, oh a little a little bit on the small side, potentially higher level walls. No, it's, it's looking pretty low level in terms of walls. I do hear a radio over there. I see, what was that? Did y'all see my screen shake like crazy for a sec? That sketched the bejesus out of me. Dude, the big one's watching. This is, this is spooky. Whatever, let's use our level one hatchets first though. They raise the, I, I don't know. I think the iron hatchet might actually raise less noise if you use it on level one walls, but let's break through the level one because these things are is the cheapest. Uh, ooh, he's got some nifty stuff here, but it's uh, set up in an interesting fashion. Huh, all right, interesting base design, buddy. I guess I gotta move on up to the world of level twos. So be it. I came prepared for this type of thing anyways. Hello, door, soon to be non-existent door it sucks though because this stuff is gonna raise the noise level a solid amount mm, he's got some things in here at least we got level one walls to break through here it's going okay so far nothing crazy nothing amazing okay he's got random oh i kind of kind of like the chests looted in here i feel like this though hold on i feel like he might be using this to protect whatever's like around here I feel there's got to be chests and stuff around here okay that's where he hides the motorcycle this man has a uh, quite the interesting base design to say the least anything up hither maybe oh he's got one it's pretty close all right here we got the horde of zombies we gotta deal with luckily the fast player is always streaming first and they're relatively easier to deal with the floater bloater usually gets some damage off on me but uh this is good this thing's lasting a little bit longer than i expected i just hope i find a silence the gun if not we uh I mean, I don't want to go loud, but we might have to. This is one of the most central trunks, though, so I have, like, solid hopes. Eh, oak. I got hopes for oak. Well, I got the oak. Uh, he has put some steel into these benches. Has he put a couple engine parts? He's got a solid little setup rolling. Honestly, the, mm, mm. the way that these trunks are facing, too, I feel like whatever's in here might be juicy. So I have a good way of actually trying to figure that out. Maybe if I can get through here. No, dude, it's like, it's very hard to maneuver around this man's base. Hot diggity dog. I think there's some very good stuff to be hidden in like those two sectors. Let's figure it out then. Make our way through. Beep, beep. Coming through. Man with level one hatchets. Only got two left. So trying to uh, put them to great use. There you go. Good thing that I'm hitting the right walls too. Iron hatchet, not iron hatchet, stone hatchet, do me good. 
All right, we got something in here. Kind of facing that word direction. It seems like he's trying to protect the stuff on the interior, man. This guy's got a very interesting setup. Uh, I definitely want to break into this, though, and then... No, 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 no. What is you doing? Why would you do that? Keep breaking. Keep breaking. There you go, my man. There you go. Stay on topic. I don't think this one's going to have anything great. Yeah, it's kind of protecting the outside wall, dude. This thing right here. He built his base to make this as hard to get as possible. I'm letting you guys know right now. I got high hopes for the other side of this. And I mean really freaking high hopes, honestly. Is there a chest even? Okay, there is. Good. Uh, how do I break into the chest? There we go. I'm telling you. This right here, I think it's the most central out of everything. Uh, I may have uh, misspoken. Oh, dear God. This is bad. Hold on. Let's uh, let's go auto mode here because there's a lot of... Oh, dear. No, 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 no. Start shooting, please. There's a lot more than I expected. Thank you. Come again. Oh, mama. There is a lot more. All right. So I guess maybe we took some... Uh, not as educated as I thought guesses. So it seems. Um, maybe, I mean, we looted that one. Golly. Maybe these two? They're, they're pretty outside. Mm, mm, mm. I kind of want to see this chest. I don't know, dude. It's a guessing game. Some people have their best stuff in low-level chests. Some people have it in other stuff here. I did acquire some, uh, some okay stuff. Not too shabby. Definitely not the silenced weapons I've been looking for, though. Will this have that which I seek? And if not, uh, well, everything's kind of broken, so I really hope it does. Ah, we got some gas, some weapon parts. Nothing's popping up yet. It's going to pop up there. Uh, you know what we can do? Honestly, YOLO. Let's hope for a little bit of good luck. We do have the silenced pack here. Five of these puppies we can open if we're lucky. We'll get a modded weapon. I kind of could use a mod. Oh! Two? Well, hot diggity dog. I may or may not have some super dope luck. All right, I'm not so scared to open things now. You know, that's the worst when you're just too scared to open things. Yeah, herp a derp. Uh, oh, honestly, now that I think about it though, I actually think these two might be pretty good because you can't technically get to them because he placed his ATV to like prevent that. So maybe this one will be good. Maybe that was the decoy to fool us, something like that. Now he's got a, I'm taking the dining table. I, I need some decoration in my home. My home is bland. Thank you for the dining table. I appreciate the loot loot a ton, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Toxic abominations. I don't appreciate you guys. Shoot. Go away. Go away. No. Bad abomination. Bad. Go. Go. You are not wanted here. There you go. Only used, uh, dear God, that entire wave used up almost all I had. Uh, forgot what the noise meter was at. Hopefully it's pretty good. I, I guess I could take some stone. I'm, I'm kind of low on stone back home, honestly. And we do need that to upgrade to level 2 walls. And I do have some level t or walls I want to upgrade to level 2 eventually. So uh, let's make sure that we loot this. Dude, I don't know. The trunks have been lackluster so far. He's got to have just carrots up the wazoo. That's what he has to have. Uh, maybe this. After that, I don't know. We could break a wall and maybe find one more chest. But we've... Uh, it's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's not bad. It's okay. It's okay, senor. I think we got one more crate we can break into, but like... Uh, hold on, we didn't break into this trunk. Uh, YOLO! Let's hope for the best. Watch, this is gonna be the good one, but the big one's gonna be freaking running after us like a madman. Eh, we got one more chest we can open. I don't think we can open any chests from here, though. Yowzes, man! It was going all well, but... Why can I not go on the ATV, man? Dear mama. I don't know. Let, let's check what one of the these workbenches has. I mean, he's been refining stuff. Maybe it's in here. It, it's probably over in those rooms, but we just don't have the noise for that to matter. All right, we got to get the hell out of Dodge. They are coming. They are coming. Run for the hills. And with that, uh, is there a level five threat level or will it just reset us to level four? Oh, dear mama. Okay, okay, okay. So, you are under threat for longer, but you do end up staying at the four skulls. So, for every raid you do, pretty much long story short, revenge raid, normal raid, whatever type of raid it is, every raid you do, there will be roughly one day added to your raidable time. 
so it doesn't matter like oh that's that's good to know though that's good to know i i actually honestly did think they would just cap off at four days and level four threat level but it looks like the threat level caps off at level four but you are raidable for much longer so i hope that you guys enjoyed that absolute raidathon very long video uh and happy saturday i guess enjoy your weekend with this puppy and uh hopefully these raiders enjoy what i got to give them uh, I really don't have a lot of good stuff today, my man. Do you like dining tables? All right. He's not a fan of dining tables, it seems. He likes weapon parts. I got weapon parts up the wazoo. Honest. Eh, I got iron up the wazoo. Yeah, just, just take your iron and go. Just leave. I'm going to put this freaking dining room table down. Enjoy life a little bit. Where's the dining room table? I'll put it right here so I can I can listen to the radio. That, that's that's going to be my dining room. All right, now that our base isn't a one by one maze of doom and destruction, we can actually have a table. I wish I could sit here. All right, eat some of my food. Look at that, dude. I got a spoon. I got a fork. I got some booze. I got some plates. I got two plates. It's a date right there, man. I just got they just got to add females in last day on earth. And you know I'll be inviting them over. But uh, that's a good point for me to go ahead and end this video off. I'm excited to hear what y'all got to say about which raid you guys like the most. Which one you think I did the best. What you guys think about how the rating system seems to work once you get really high. And uh, wish me luck that I don't get raided like five times by the time I log back on. Because uh, for science, uh, the threat level is high and uh, some of my loot is definitely at risk. So, uh... Let's hope all goes well there. But that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Best of luck joining the Chopper Squad. Best of luck on your guys' raids. Best of luck defending your base. And best of luck in the new weekly $25 giveaway that y'all can enter in on. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.